I never sleep very well out here. Last night, I swore I heard something getting close to my tent, so I sat up really fast, and then I heard some splashes, so probably wasn't just my imagination. And then, my plan was to just get up when the sun came up, but once it did, I was like, oh, I'll put my blanket over my eyes five more minutes. But now, I'm getting up for real, it's starting to get too hot, and it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Didn't mean to sleep that late, but oh well. <laughs> That was really hot. That burned my tongue. <laughs> Campsite. Only meeting you at 12:20. Not an ideal start, but next time I'll know. Don't rely on the sun to wake me up. I'm looking over this way because this is where I saw something reflecting, and I thought it was an alligator eye. Um, I think it was just a piece of trash because it didn't move throughout the night. I saw another big gator slide into the water right now. Pretty unnerving that I camped just a little while away. But that's the way it goes. When I go under this bridge, I am in a new county. I've entered Payne's Creek historic state park and I just passed my first fellow paddlers in three days so that's cool to know that I'm not as isolated as I have been and soon there's gonna be a ramp with a bathroom and I'm excited for that
After the bridge, I saw a construction site almost right away, and now it's been like 20 minutes of paddling, and I'm figuring out the construction site was the ramp, you know, just they're working on it. It wasn't functional, which is a little bummer because, you know, I just wanted to go to a bathroom. I just wanted to feel like I was in some sort of civilization, but that's okay because that was my midway point for the day. So now it's time for my daytime beer. <laughs> I brought two six packs, right? And I'm like, I usually have one in the day, one at camp. So again, this is three sisters or three daughters brewing beach blonde ale. Now I just gotta not um, accidentally step over it when I'm getting out and slosh um, silt in it like I did yesterday. I just passed a bridge back there and I think it said Herd Bridge on the actual bridge. This says Herd Bridge Road right here. So I think I'm at my goal for the day, which is crazy because it's 3.30. I was paddling hard because I knew I got a late start. And also the river is more it goes like this now instead of going super windy. Definitely the first day was the windiest. But I think I think this is just the part of the day where I get to float and wait for a good campsite to come along. This place here might be the best campsite I'm gonna find. There is that beachy area over there. There's a fence. You probably can't see it, but beyond those trees and bushes, so they probably wouldn't want anyone going further than that. But as far as I understand, here is still okay. Here's the place. Kayak is tied off in two spots down there. Then there's not many like trees with branches around so I have my water set up right there. For now I don't feel like setting up camp. I'm just too tired. I want to drink some water, make sure this place is like there's not going to be a farmer that comes and tells me to get off their land. Um, so just giving it a little bit before I start setting up. And I'm really tired and don't feel like it. Now that the campsite is situated, I still, I don't feel like making dinner. Um, I've had a very small appetite on this trip, but why not? Cause I opened my beer. Why not have a little sit down by the river?
Another thing I love about this campsite, there's not so many trees, so you have the full light of day for as long as possible. And after today, I'm really glad to be out here. I'm really looking forward to the rest of the trip. I got up at 9 today, an hour earlier than yesterday, but I'm still getting on the river at noon. That's okay though. If I paddled like I did yesterday, who cares? And even if not, I'll get there in plenty of time. This river is really cool because it has this, um, I don't know what you would call it, what type of rock it is, but it has holes in it. And that's how I tied up my boat last night, so I thought that was pretty cool. Goodbye, campsite! Thank you for being awesome! You can see a croc just lounging over at the bottom of that sandy little cliff thing. I am like at least 40 feet away from it, so I'm not that scared, but it's big and not as big as the one I saw on the first day though. I made it about a mile, I think, to the town of Hardy, Cruz Park. I didn't feel like taking out my trash to throw it away, but another place without a bathroom. All of these parks so far that have said they had a bathroom, it must be in walking, like not in walking distance or something because I haven't seen any. This is Pioneer Park, the second landmark of the day, and it looks pretty promising. That was really nice to sit down and have lunch, be able to go to the bathroom, fill up my water bottle with water I didn't have to filter. Although the filtered water tastes better than tap water, honestly. But anyway, back on the river. It's 2.45. Um, and this was my halfway point for the day, so not great, but I'm flexible.
I was just thinking, I may need to start looking for a campsite, it's four o'clock. Then I came around the bend and there's this. Footprints in the sand, remains of a fire. So I know that there's, there's been other people here, but there's no, no camping signs. Got some flowers, beautiful palm trees and cypress trees all around. This place is great. It's so hot, the only thing I wanna do is just sit with my feet in the river. Luckily, it's so shallow around here, I don't feel like it's murky. I feel comfortable, like I can see everything that's going on. I'm not as scared about alligators eating me as I would be at other campsites. Now it's 6.30 and I'm not hungry at all, again. Today at lunchtime I was hungry and I was like, wow, maybe this is the turning point for me. But no, still too hot, don't feel like eating, but going to anyway. Tonight I'm having a north side, it's um, pesto. And this pesto I bought when I was on the AT. It's been like six months since the AT. Um, since I finished, I should say. It's been a, almost a year since I started. Anyway, back on subject. I just had it left over from that trip and I was like, I know I'm gonna be out adventuring again, so I'll save it. And now I get to have it. There's sand at the bottom of this. So now I have to decide how much do I care? I think I'll just cook with it anyway. If you're wondering, I just got new water. Normally, I might go ahead and just deal with having a little crunch in my food, but not for, not for pesto pasta, okay? I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but the mosquitoes have been coming out every night. It varies the amount that there is, but they're usually just really annoying. I haven't seen them bite me that much, just like hover around me and get on my nerves, but then I look down and like my legs and my arms are all bitten up. So I guess they are getting me. Okay, now I've let this sit for a second. Time to try my beautiful pesto pasta. This is what the package looks like, if you were curious. Probably not, but too late now. It's really hot, but really good. Little, little garlic flavor in there. Oh, I spoke too soon, I guess. These aren't like mosquitoes around me. They're just gnats. That's annoying, but <sighs> this is what it's all about, you know? Hanging out at my campsite. Beautiful place I'm in. There's frogs I can hear, crickets. It's just an awesome moment. This is why I come out here. This is why I do stuff like this. As predicted, the mosquitoes came out tonight, but also there's so many dragonflies out here. 